Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This is a realistic mode and this town is very, very close to uh, to accepting some people. Um, while we wait on a few more buildings to get done, uh, that one's uh, almost done, really close. A few more days there, this one is. Let's get started on another one over here. Um, let's assign a lot of these offices and it's obviously a different way I could also do that. That one doesn't even need any electronics. What is the, um, can I, can I know what the uh, quality of these buildings are? Yes, I have had a comment about the quality of mods specifically, but I don't think these are mods, but they may be. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, what I wanted to do is get a, get, get the rest of these roads kind of graveled up. <clears throat> but in order to do that, let's, um, let's tie this one in here so that there is at least an extra little path. We don't need a path over here. Um, we probably need to run a little something. That is a, that is an interesting kink that we've got there. Let, let's claw that back and just try that um, a little cleaner. Why is it? Oh, there we go. That's uh, that's what we're after. Then what we'll do is we'll do up to there and we'll get this thing to just tie in over that way um, to this to this kind of arterial road here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll uh, gravel up these roads. There, there, and there. Uh, and we'll ultimately need to do this long section as well. Now, can we go ahead and assign dumpers are there? If we do roads two, we'll get roads two to come and come and work here. This one, we've got dumpers. We'll get roads two to come into this one also. And then this one over here, we'll add the roads and paths. There's lots of roads being requiring building. Now, we'll get that up and running. Uh, this one's done. No workers here at the moment, and I'm gonna hold off. The happiness goes down so quickly if you um, if you don't have everything in place, and so definitely we're gonna at least wait until we get, um, get our hospital in place. The sporting facilities needs to get in place as well, and um, the kindergarten needs to get in place, the school needs to get in place. Um, have we started building here? We have to some extent started building here. Um, we need to assign um, cranes and concrete as well. So let's go ahead and assign that so that we can get um, our little university built. The police station is not super urgent and the courthouse is not, the, the prison is not. They have stuff that we need to build um, fairly soon after we start, but not immediately. Okay, so with that in mind, what is this? This is another kindergarten. One should be okay for now at least. Um, there's a few more little paths I believe we need to get building. Oh, this guy is just arriving over there. Um, yeah, we can do some of these paths. So let's grab, grab that, get a path done. Let's get this path done. Um, we can do these paths over here. I believe they should all assign to something. Yes, no, maybe. These are auto-assigning, right? So they should be assigning to them. So what we'll do is we'll just do that, get them assigned. Roads 2 is really the, the one that should be dealing with these things. So we'll just get those assigned as well. Uh, how's this going? None of these are actually assigning. Anyway, we'll get the Roads 2 to work on most of them as that as it becomes available, uh, dumpers and roads too. That one can't can't be assigned at the moment. Um, so we'll just slowly see what, what's happening with all of these things. Hopefully they can get all built. Uh, we should have, yeah, look, all of these are underway. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty close to getting done. At the moment, they'll just loop around. So that's a, that's a pretty good outcome though. Excellent, good, 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 good. Um, how much steel do we have available? And uh, none at all because we're waiting on a load of workers and I'm hoping this is a load. Only six though. Anyway, uh, every little drop of steel is uh, is useful. Okay, in the meantime, we will uh, need to start planning our way out here to the oil. Um, the question is, do we want to collect oil over here and then bring it to this industrial area over here, construction slash industrial area, potentially. Potentially it's a little closer. Um, and that would mean that we would need to do a little something with the rail. So let's get started on planning rail while we're still waiting on a few things. So um, I will 
I will clear out some of these paths because they are in the way of my rail. Come on. There we go. We'll do a little bit of that and then we'll just get started on looking at like rail. Okay, so we could do wood-based railway. <clears throat> That's gonna, okay, let's just, uh, let's just go, uh, hang on, let's start it from this one and go straight up to there so that we've got a bit of a measure. So this is about 4.6 tons of steel, 27 tons of gravel and 9.3 tons of boards. The gravel and the boards is not a problem, the steel is, uh, is okay. Then if we go concrete, then if we do this, oh, that's about the same in terms of steel. Uh, the same in terms of gravel, but it's in terms of, uh, then it's prefab panels. So I'm just going to go straight into this um, instead of doing the wooden ones. <clears throat> and then if we do the electrified one, on the other hand, um, this is more steel and electronics, but the rest is fairly similar. Maybe a few extra prefab panels. But yeah, prefab panels is what we need. So maybe we make a start on this. Otherwise, we have Metro over here, which is the new one. So if we build the metro instead, oh metro, oh metro can't connect there. Okay, so either way we would need some kind of depot um, arrangement. And I'm not too sure what that looks like, to be honest. Refueling facilities and the likes here. Anyway, we will uh, we will have to come back and have a look at that. So what we'll do is we'll just make a start um, with this. And shall we? Yeah, shall we start off with um, that one? And then what we'll do is we'll create a fairly minor curve there towards the end. Actually, we do that. That's a pretty comfortable, pretty comfortable curve there. Okay, so we'll do a little something like that as a planning point. Um, it will, of course, need um, multiple, multiple, um, inbound areas okay so the idea is really that it's going to do something like this and then it's going to oh my it's going to do something like um like this to go to go back out and this is just the planning stages of things um, and then ultimately we will need you to go out all the way that way um, and I think something like this will be long enough and oh hang on it's the wrong way it's the wrong way around I was I was uh, I was not thinking about it it's the wrong way around if they come in from this side, it needs to be the other way around. Oh my goodness. What a mess. What a mess. Um, we could obviously do... Obviously do a very similar thing though. So let's just trim these things back a little. Why? Anyway. Something like that. And then instead of... What we'll do is we'll line these up. There we go. There we go. All good. And then we'll. Why? Why is it doing? Why is it doing that? Ah, oh, there we go. That's the one I'm after. We'll let trim it back a little. There we go. And then from here, you need to please go out this way. And then from here, you'll need to pull out. And uh, no, that's not giving me a little bit of room there. Move a little bit over here and go out and in there. So now basically we've got the ability for a number of trains to store here. And we'll have to see how we how we deal with it. I don't mind going straight up here. So let's get rid of this path. Um we're not gonna build this for quite a while though, guys. I'm just I'm just getting kind of getting ready for it, just to have a bit of an indication. Of what I want to do with uh, with the train, so this is the way. This is going into that direction, and we'll don't mind running it fairly straight here. Um, and then this one is the next one. And what we'll do from here is we'll probably extend this a little bit longer. 
and then um, tie that in like so and like so. So now you can um, join any one of those basically. Good stuff right that like that. So this gives us a starting point for our rail and I think we'll start planning it out from there. The idea is obviously that we're going to head up over here to our oil fields and potentially our coal fields. Uh, the question is really how are we going to get it um, down there? Um, which, I mean, it's not the end of the world. We can bridge across here. Well, we don't even have to bridge. We can just run it alongside alongside this. And then um, do we, however, I, I don't know. I mean, we will, whether we will need to um, have a train station over here, I don't think that's necessarily required. But we'll definitely need a little something um, to go down to this area, especially if we're gonna um, gonna grab um, a lot of our construction materials there. So what I'll do, I will um, I will effectively say, wow, look at that price if funded from dollars. Uh, no, I wouldn't be funding it from dollars. Oh, price if funded from rubles, ninety thousand. Still a lot. Um, so we'll we'll start the construction infrastructure. So we'll leave it there, but nothing, none of this can can be assigned to any form of construction. We'll just leave it there as a part of the planning. So that's the idea that we're going to ultimately get some rail through there, and that should hopefully have a fair bit of capacity in terms of um, dealing with the border. Now, I uh, would like to see us finish off some stuff, right? Why is this not finished yet? What are we missing? A uh, new vehicle type? Oh, that's the guy that's going to build trains with, and we've got some trains here. We'll, uh, we'll clear all of that out. We really need to get this hospital built. It is high priority, but for some reason, um, we're missing bricks. I don't know why. Oh, here comes bricks. Okay, excellent. Hopefully we can get that sorted out. Uh, some of these things still need to be built. We're really struggling to get workers at some of these facilities. Oh, we finished off that section, which is exactly what I was after. Now, I think we can probably do the rest of this section. That would be uh, wouldn't be too bad. If we uh, if we ended up doing doing this oh, up to there first and then up to here, these are two distinct sections. So anyway, we'll get dumpers and the roads two um, to come and work this one, and we'll get dumpers and the roads two to come and work this one too, and that should give us a pretty reasonable um, piece of infrastructure to deal with. Um, lots of little paths that has been built and and so on. Here comes the snow. Um, did I? Yes, I did add these extra ones. I thought I did. So snow is available. No one's still living here. It's still pretty cool. And the issue is about... I don't think... Um, I don't think we're going to be in a position to add people during the winter. It's just going to be too challenging to get things heated up properly and quick enough to, to make that um, a reasonable... To make that reasonable... Um, yeah, to make that a reasonable um, thing to do. Ah, one thing that we probably need to get... Well, we don't need people to actually walk up to this. We could get started on the construction. There's a number of things that we just need to finish off in terms of construction, really. And I'm worried we're, um, we're obviously overextending the abilities of um, the foreign workers at this uh, at this border, border post. We're relying on them to do so much stuff at the moment. It's a little bit of a challenge for us. But yeah, um, our snow plows are doing their thing. Lots of little uh, little pieces of, of, of road construction going on here. Um, this is, yeah, the heating. This is the radio station, not a super duper requirement. This is a tiny university, um, which we will get up and running one of, uh, fairly soon. Maybe, maybe we can get people without the university in place, but we definitely need the hospital up and running. At least we're seeing some bricks arrive, but... Yeah, there's a lot of bricks that needs to come in here. Hopefully, we'll get more and more of that delivered. Uh, if even a fair bit of steel available over here. I can't wait to get our gravel um, started. And the question is really, um, we could look at something like, uh, let's have a look. If we go to, to the coal industry, which I can never find. These things are, oh, there we go. So coal uh, processing plants. Do we have a smallish, um, inexpensive coal processing plant? That's 600 tons of steel. Um, a charcoal factory, um, which is basically going to produce it from wood. 
um, even that's a re really large amounts of really large amounts of steel um, to get um, to get the processing done. So I'm not sure that's going to be worth our while um, in the short term. Um, so for that reason, I'm not sure that's something that we're going to be focusing our attention on. Why is this stuff struggling to get built so much? We just need workers here. We just need workers over here. Where is all my? Where are all my workers? Where are my workers? Yeah, it's just not enough manpower. Just not enough manpower. How much workers are coming in through here? Ten workers. Don't know really how those things get assigned. Okay, so we'll continue trying to get these things built. I'm amazed that this thing was built so quickly, and some of these others are really struggling. Like bricks, just don't make it here. We only need a few workers to come in here. We only need some workers to come in here. We only need workers to come in here. Um, yeah, this is also grabbing bricks at the moment. So if, so I don't know why, if this is high priority, why is this not seeing um, all the same bricks? Right? That's the piece that, uh, that I find quite interesting. Um, this doesn't actually um, get covered with... Um, with snow. Oh, well, there's elements of it. So we'll just assume that this is getting, being um, properly sw swept. Here come some workers. Ten workers to come and work this site here. Yeah, are we actually dropping off ten? Oh, we're still missing, we're still missing bricks. Can't imagine you're on high priority and you're not getting your bricks delivered. That's the issue, really. What's happening with these guys over here? Bricks are coming, but fairly limited, really. That guy could be delivering bricks, to be honest. So if we, if we say we don't need any more steel, but let's um, let's have a look here. So that's the mechanisms. If we have a look here and we say bricks, please come and get um, bricks from. From the customs house right yeah that's not the button i needed to press there and then we can make use of that truck at least so let's assign um bricks and prefab panels and well not concrete and boards and um, we'll assign those four so that we can get the roads to 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 drop off bricks over here too we need some bricks they all need bricks really so let's get um Let's get the roads too to also work on this one. We don't need any more steel here, so they won't be bringing steel from there. But at least they can maybe bring some bricks through. This uh, this this gets done. We've got so many dumpers that gets done really quickly. We are definitely we are definitely going to go and get um, citizens in this episode, even if I have to um, do another time lapse until we get this done. And I think that's probably um, a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and grab another time lapse. Um, until we get a few more facilities up and running and probably towards the end of winter and then we will add citizens.
Okay, guys, and I think we're uh, we're about there now. Well, now I've got a guy missing here. Oh, crap. So we'll have to get this thing done first. Anyway, so for the time being, uh, I think we've got everything we kind of need here. I'm not going to worry too much about that single dump truck over there. We're going to finish this one off, probably with overkill. Yeah. University's done. Um, we've got at least two uh, apartment buildings done. We can probably start assigning... Um, at least a little bit more construction to come in over to this guy. So let's get workers to come over here. Uh, but for some reason, we can't get that done until we um, get this done. So can we please get a lot more stuff um, delivered here? Probably workers as well. Let's just get all of that stuff delivered here so we can get um, that little section of road done and, and, and close that out. Um, what we've done now is we've got the pub ready to go. I'm not sure we need to drop the number of staff, but I'll go with like um, two staff. Uh, what we will need to do, however, is grab this uh, distribution office over here and, um, and, and link up the bar. Okay, and yeah, about 30% of the alcohol is fine. What we'll also need to do is make sure that we collect alcohol from the large customs house. Now that's gonna keep gonna be where we're going. Um, now how, I got, don't get how some of this stuff just never, how these guys get stuck um, in some of these things. They manage to get here from that side, um, but don't actually leave towards the other side or go back the way they came. I have no idea. Anyway, once actually once that's done, yeah, they'll get away. Um, that's okay. We'll get that done. Um, this guy needs something to get here. Oh, dumpers are stuck by themselves, and we can't get anybody else in there for the time being. So we do need to... Um, Get this piece done. Excellent. We're getting out of winter now. Let's just see where, what's our temperature looking like. 5454 four degrees. Um, I'm going to wait for the temperature to just come up a little bit before we can bring people in. I just want to make sure we're not going to lose um, people along the way, really. <clears throat> we'll assign that section so we'll get a little bit more done here. I've gone and um, uh, allocated a lot of our materials to some of these buildings so some of these buildings have started getting materials um, but they're still missing um, workers and of course we're going to try and get our workers sorted out ourselves um, is there anything being delivered yet yeah okay so we'll get that thing sorted out that's all good uh, that should get that being built um, and then this guy should probably not be stuck anymore that's the plan at least excellent there he goes now the rest of that can be built um, we can probably assign some workers to come over this way. Have I done that? Not yet. So let's see about getting workers to come in here. That's going to be all good. So we'll get that building started. Um, and really, that's going to be it. We've got alcohol um, allocated over here. We've got this one built. Um, we've got a kindergarten. We've got a school. We've got a library. Uh, we probably need to start working on this, so let's get workers to come and um, come and join the uh, Lenin statue over here, so that we can get that one built. Yeah, we just need workers. Um, absolutely good, absolutely good. We're going to wait a little bit longer, um, so we get a little bit more um, uh, temperature before we add people. Okay, so. The uh, the idea is really that we uh, that we get people in now. I think at 15 degrees it's about good. So I think we're very close to being done. Now what we're going to do with these people is I'm kind of tempted to use the third world immigrants here. Now the problem with them is they come here pretty sick. And we'll probably need a few um, expert um, or well-skilled sk um, migrants as well. And then once we, uh, and then I'm kind of tempted to just load a few skilled migrants in here so they can come and work the hospital. Um, they won't be able to get to the hospital that easily, and they can come and work these these some of these facilities. That's kind of the plan. And then we'll then I want to load up on um, on the other guys the. Uh, uh, the, the the third world migrants because that's going to save us a fair bit of money compared to the 10,000 or actually 4,000 or so that it's going to cost us over there so I'd rather spend my 5,000s here 
or skilled migrants, and then the unskilled ones will be from the third world. I think that's the idea, so that we also um, predominantly use our dollars to get that. We can, of course, um, take out loans. That's not the end of the world. We can certainly do that. Let's get this going, just in case. Um, leave there. Yeah, there's a lot of little bits and pieces that still need to be done, and a few workers will uh, probably help that situation out. Um, but yeah, definitely. I, I've, I purchased a couple of ambulances, so that's uh, that's no that's that's all good. Um, yeah, this this all seems seems fairly reasonable. We've got uh, pretty well connected sections of road and things over here. These guys can uh, make their way through there. We've got everything pretty much graveled up. So so really, we uh, we uh, we're looking pretty good to get people in. Okay, now we've got a decent enough temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab. Um, two rounds, three rounds of skilled guys, and then we're gonna fill up the rest with uh, with the other guys. So they're pretty happy, pretty happy. Not really loyal at this stage. Um, fairly skilled. So hopefully they'll go and work in the spots where we need them to work. Um. Oh, you can get out there? Okay, that's good. Yeah, obviously, there's a little path there. I uh, would like doctors in place. Excellent. So with doctors in place, we do need staff. Temperature is still a little bit low. Hopefully, we're going to get some workers over here. Maybe not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some third world workers over there. To uh, And their health is really low, I believe. 46% over there, 56%. So hopefully, we'll get workers in place in a number of spots. Excellent. That one's done. Uh, where can we... Oh, yeah, yeah, you can actually get... It is school. Excellent. Some workers is available for the school. I'll keep an eye on some of these numbers. Definitely will. We've got passengers waiting here. We don't want passengers here. We don't want students or tourists here. This is for workers only. So we'll do that. We stop production on heating. Uh, but heating should be okay. But we need... Uh, we need this population to be a little bit more robust in order for us to actually get there in the end. So let's start looking at what we've got. Um, I believe some workers are actually working our construction sites. That's really good. We do have, yeah, this is an issue. We just don't have enough workers to work all of these things. No staff here. We need way more workers to come and work these buildings. So let's get another shot of... Um, of these guys and probably another um, shot over there. Just more workers is what we need. Um, and hopefully they're not too... <coughs> yeah, patients are coming in. I'm hoping we can get our patients um, our patients treated. Whoa, lots of patients arriving. Uh, do we... Up our numbers here. We, 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 we can... I mean, there's more people that should be coming to work here. So we probably need more um, more skilled skilled migrants, really. Um, there's no one actually working over here. So once this building gets up, um, I'm going to put more skilled individuals in. We do need a few more skilled individuals. Um, that's going to be really helpful if we can sort that out. And um, this is getting built. This is getting built, but not through workers coming in from the border, but we may be able to add them. Just to make sure that we get these two buildings up and running as well. Um, oof, this is getting a little bit tight for us. A little bit tight. Okay, are people getting their needs? Their need, needs should be met, I believe. Uh, what's going on over here? So people are happy with... Well, not happy with anything. But I think uh, what we'll need to do is get this stuff slowly coming coming in. Oh, there goes the ambulance. At least there's an ambulance going. Still waiting on staff. Where's my staff here, guys? Here we go. Really? We're not treating anybody? Even though we've got staff? Where's the staff? Everybody's waiting to be treated. And nothing more than that. Is this actually running? This is running a little bit. And so that means this is okay. Yeah. So our temperature should be reasonable. 
Um, it's March, yeah, so we should have a long stretch to get a few things up and running before we go any further. I don't know why no one is getting treated. Honestly, we've got, at, we've got, we've got staff here. Excellent. Now we're at least treating someone. Citizens loyalty seems too low. Which building is this? This is this building. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine their loyalty is quite low. It might be because we've got the third world guys in place. Might be that they have zero loyalty whatsoever to us. Uh, let me just see who's supposed to be working this site. Ah, oh, I don't have anybody working this site. Let's get CO2, CO roads here. CO roads 2 in place. Uh, can we get these things done? Yeah, we should be able to get them done. I need a few more, uh, a few more uh, people to come and work here, and I might have to get um, Soviet bloc people to come and work here because I seem to have a massive issue with patients here, um, and we need more staff and doctors and the like. So once this thing's done, another round of. Uh, I'm hoping. Oh, and we can we can stop running this bus. To be honest, this bus can can now um, make its way. Um, over to the depot um, and we'll clear the line there um, we don't need foreign workers to work this anymore I believe I believe we don't need foreign workers to work it anymore but 180 people in I think that's everybody we brought in really um, low education do we have unemployed massively high unemployment here due to low education okay so education is a massive issue so clearly clearly we need uh we need different different people so the third world thing isn't working out too well for us so be mindful of that as an issue we uh we still have it we've got a fair bit going on here i might drop this number down a little bit more so we don't get too many foreign workers going over there we try and get them to our other sites to get this done yeah that's a, a local person working there what's the situation here no workers hanging out there um, we have no teachers citizens health is low we're not getting this is not working we really need this to be done come on guys let's get this high priority up here let's get that built um this is slowly getting built i assume yeah but very low numbers this is not a massive priority for us to get that done too quickly. But see, even with uh, us waiting a long time to get everybody ready to go, we're still missing tons of stuff because all these guys, <gasps> did they die? Oh, we had a bunch of people die. We had a bunch of people die. Deaths. Oh, escapes, actually. Deaths and escapes, no births yet. Yeah, so clearly not, uh, not the way for us to go. We need these buildings up. Uh, with those people uh, leaving, let's grab an extra couple of rounds of those guys. And we should get, be able to grab um, a few uh, more of those guys. Uh, just the Soviet Soviet um, um, less skilled workers. Yeah, so the, the third world guys, you need, um, I think you need a, a proper... Here we go. Patients, doctors, doctors coming in, staff coming in. Can we please get these people treated a little quicker? Let's up the number here a little bit. See if we can't um, get more people treated. If we can get them, if we can get them sorted, that should help us out. And we'll add a little bit more people to come and work here, so we can get people through the classroom a little quicker. Um, the unskilled level is just a little, a little problematic for us at the moment. This should be done now. Um, with that in mind, let's go ahead and grab some skilled migrants in there, and we'll fill the rest up with. Um, with people from uh, from the Soviet countries, so that we can hopefully get our numbers up and get people treated and um, educated and so on. Yeah, we probably need a, need an extra little path through here. To be honest, um, I might get the the guys to start working on that. Yeah, that and that I think is useful. So let's get that in play. That should get people there. Um, so let's get CO roads, CO construction office two roads in there. And on this side also should be able to, to do that. And we'll get that built. Excellent. So that now let's see what's happening. Yeah, I, I think that's okay. I don't mind that there's a few people waiting outside. Yeah, this is struggling. I have no idea why this is such a problem. 
We've got university educated people working in the staff component of this. Um, and we're really slow at treating people. Where's my staff? Okay, that one's done. So let's um, let's bring in more staff over here and maybe a couple more like that and more staff even like that. So, um, so that's cost us a fair bit. And if we have to take out a loan, we'll take out a massive loan and, and just deal with it from there. But yeah, the third world option to try and save the money really didn't work out that well for us. What's going on over here? We have people working and babies are being dealt with over there. We've got some staff over here. We've got some staff over here. So most of the stuff should be okay. Wow, there's very few shopkeepers. No, shopkeepers are coming in. That's okay. Any workers waiting here? No, not yet. Oh, beautiful. That's looking much better. So now we're starting to um, hopefully get people educated. Um, over here? No. That's interesting. So we've got no one actually joining this level of education over here. Interesting. So that's potentially not great. Oh, excellent. This is looking healthier now. Yeah. So maybe you can, I think you can go over to the third world country, guys, but um, you don't want to do that um, immediately. It's just a little bit too challenging. Over here, are people getting their current visitors are coming in um, over here? Yeah, we've got visitors there. This is okay. Babies are available here or <laughs> are available. But yeah, getting getting people educated is going to be a little bit of a challenge for us, I think. Is that our only access point here? Because I would at some point like to up, upgrade that a little bit. Oh, excellent. We can we can go ahead and and get this one built and then we can upgrade the other one. Um Let's do that and assign construction office two roads to it to come and come and sort that out. And yes, I know they'll they'll have to uh, pay for stuff. Oh, oh, there's a few students available over here. That's that's, that's looking good. Um, this is looking good as well. I'm hoping that education is going to slowly start to go up. We are starting to treat people a little bit. I'm hoping the oh, ex excellent. This is not bad. Sixty one percent is is not bad at all. Um, heating should also be okay. New vehicle type available. Uh, yeah, we had some some of those um, issues, but hopefully that's okay. New vehicle type is available. Excellent. That's good. That's good. Um, guys, yes, I've got ads. Uh, one or two. Oh, excellent. We've got our, uh, our Lenin statue in place, which should be providing for a bit of influence here. Now, what I'll do is let's get cracking on, on some of these other offices as well. Let's do that. Try and do it without foreign workers. Excellent. Let's get those two. Um, let's go. To, let's get these two started on. Um, we should have workers over here. No, we don't. It's interesting. Stop production because we don't have any workers over there. Uh, maybe we should start working on this one too. Lots of uh, lots of buildings needing needing construction. Oh, this section probably needs a, a construction office roads too to come over here and help that out. Okay, so these guys should be mobilizing. Yeah, coming over this way. Lots of uh, lots of people on the roads here. Good. People are getting access to alcohol, so I think they should be happy. Um, our health is going up, which is something that I find really good. Um, now what I'm interested in doing is dropping the number of people who's actually working the hospital because I think we've we've managed to to cover off the real issues. Maybe yeah, we shouldn't probably not drop it lower than that. Probably not any lower than that, and hopefully we are we are going to get people um, trained up fairly quickly. Um, lots of steel available, so these construction items shouldn't um, cost us too much. But yeah, we are running out of money really quickly. To be honest, one of the things that we can start considering, um, once we bring workers over this way, so let's just have a look. What's the situation with workers here? Still no workers available at the bus station. Um, which is the issue here. Can these guys actually walk to the bus station? They can. It's a little far, but they can walk to the bus station. Everybody else should be able to get there too. But yeah, that's a bit of a... Whew. Hopefully we'll... Yeah, that's good. That one there is okay. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and 
Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do a little bit of this and get both of those done. Um, and at the same time, we can go and grab this one and get construction office two roads in place here. Uh, we definitely want to make sure we're we're getting getting them available here and there. Hopefully, we've got the construction workers to deal with stuff. What's our uh, so where are we due to low education? We've got 26% unemployment, which is obviously a very bad thing to have. So we definitely need. Uh, so that was the issue with the third world people. They're they're really unfortunately so uneducated that we can't can't even use them. Um, I'm assuming we don't need educated workers in construction, right? Stuff is underway at all of these. Citizens loyalty seems very low, but we, we don't really know because we don't have a secret police um, up and running. Um, I believe we should be able to do... Uh, yeah, absolutely. We should be able to do um, one over here, which I think is a good idea. So let's do that. We'll grab... Um, so, you know, uh, roads two in there. Now, once we get these things built, that would be good. Okay, now... Yeah, I think we're probably getting close to the end of this episode. I think now that we've actually have people available, it's still the start of the year, still pretty warm. We don't have to worry too much about what's going on um, with heating. Um, I do want them to be pretty good, though, and we should have be powered and, and all those kind of things. Um, we've got this guy. I'm hoping loyalty is slowly going up as well. 47% at the moment. Clothing quality is good. Sports and culture is maybe not where it should be. Um... Government loyalty seems okay, 47, but we, I don't know if we really know. Maybe from a building perspective, we don't really know where it is at, but... Um, once we get these two built, I'm kind of interested in, in dropping that one off there. And this is done, so we're waiting on some materials there. This is not quite done yet in terms of that um, groundworks phase, or earthworks phase. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna. Um, I think I'm gonna kind of leave the episode there. Let's have a quick look at our statistics. Um, I'm gonna pause the game while we quickly look at. Um, actually, we don't need to pause. Uh, there's a lot that's happening, so let's go have a quick look at our statistics. Firstly, the economy. Um, foreign. Uh, let's do uh, last year and have a look. So foreign manpower cost us sixty thousand rubles, and it was six thousand days over six thousand days. Uh, vehicles imported twenty three thousand rubles. Um, importers of resources is a lot, a lot, a lot. And coal is the most costly item, then fuel, then clothing, then gravel, then iron, then... Well, yeah, we did do a little bit of steel, but really we should stop with the steel. We really should stop with the steel. Um, definitely we should stop with the steel. That's that's all good. Um, the rest is, seems to be okay. Power is costing us almost nothing uh, in the last year, at least. That's going to obviously go up a little bit now. But yeah, really the coal was a pretty pricey one for us and we do need to but but we should be able to if we start exporting steel for instance we should be in a good position and that's something that we're going to start looking at in the next episode um steel but yeah clothing super expensive but hopefully it's not going to be that often that we're going to import clothing and we're going to we're kind of not doing the electronics just yet uh based on some of the comments that i received electronics is only necessary once we our population goes up a little bit more Government loyalty still at that 47%, but happiness is so that I don't think people are actually going to be on the escape path. On the escape path. Um, this uh, last month, we had people escape and deaths and things like that. Um, if we do look at this month now, um, yeah, this month we have had one escape though, so some people are still not quite happy. Health is going up a fair bit though. Um, we had a few births, which is really good. We didn't have any deaths though. What's the situation with our education? Is that going up? Oh, look at that. That I find, um, that's really good. Seeing that is really good. And is that the last month? If we look at last month, for instance, and we go here. Oh yeah, look at that spike in education. Uh, oh, this is because we're bringing in more people though. Ah, this is because we're bringing in more people though. This thing needs to be going down, the no education component. Um, let's go back to this month, see what's happening there. Yeah, it is turning down. So that means um, they're either dying, which they haven't. We can see they haven't died. So they are actually getting educated, which means that our workforce is improving. But we still have a pretty large unemployment rate due to low education. But I think we're working our way through that fairly quickly. 
If we uh, pause the game quickly so we can just have a look at one or two of these people. Yeah, so they're slowly um, getting themselves educated. They uh, they need to get to uh, to a one level of education at least. Um, we've got a number that's fairly close though. So so that's okay. That's okay. That should shouldn't be the end of the world there. Uh, what are these loyalties and things? Okay. Eyes, we're uh, at a 400 population, which seems to be indicating that our population is in fact growing. Yeah, yeah. We had an escape this month, but we've had eight births and no deaths. So it's moving in the right direction. And as we get more of these buildings up and running, um, that's waiting on, on prefabs. Steel is getting here pretty quickly, but the prefab component thing is a... Uh, is a bit of a challenge. Those are probably getting them now. Um, yeah, so we'll get more people in place. Um, hopefully we'll get them educated. Um, people aren't that sick anymore. Our health is definitely over 80% now. That's coming up a little bit. People seem fairly happy. Um, fairly happy. So that's good. Um, that is good. Um, this is loyalty. That's culture. We could do with more culture and loyalty. Why do we still have... Oh, we've got two. We've got two of them. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop with that. Stop with that straight away. Why do you have workers? Oh, okay. Well, let's um, let's go and park you over there. If anything, once we start getting workers here, which we don't have yet, we can start running buses to the steel plant or the steel steel mill. Steel mill. Yeah, good. Excellent. Four hundred workers still. Um, twenty-one percent unemployment. That is definitely dropping. 82% and uh, yeah, things are looking reasonable is what I'm saying. They are looking reasonable. Yeah, we've got workers actually hanging out here at the moment. So slowly these buildings should actually get built. They should be getting built even though they don't have tons of workers, but they do in fact have workers. So slowly they should get built. Uh, we'll try and get our education levels up a little bit better. Um, I think that's e either way, it is still it is going in the right direction. Uh, so if we go last month, uh, we had one escape, eight births. That's okay. And if we have a look at our education. Yeah, yeah, looking good. I think we are. And if we go uh, this month. Yeah, no, uh, our numbers are our numbers are reasonable. Our numbers are reasonable. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. We now have a functioning little town um, with lots of problems for us to solve, but we are um, getting us there. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.